Hello to all. Welcome to this new class. Today we will talk about uh, how to prepare our model. And one of the first steps is to create uh, geometry. Uh, first of all, you must take some preliminary decisions. That's uh, very important because depending on, on this, the approach to the model could be uh, good uh, or bad. Okay? Uh, well, simplifications, details uh, of, of the geometry, symmetry, if it's going to be in 2D or 3D type of analysis, please uh, always take your time first, write everything down and, and consider all this before uh, starting. Of course, you can always or hit and miss all, all what, you, what you want with the software, but uh, at the end, these decisions are very important for your next uh, step, which will be the mesh. You will see that uh, later. How do we create the geometry? There are two options. First, if you are already used to to some uh, CAD software, they are very good at good at it. You can uh, take advantage of technological uh, tools. These software are very good creating uh, geometry. If you already have this software, uh, maybe uh, it's better to to create the geometry and then import it to to CivilFem. The other solution is to uh, use the preprocessor of uh, of CivilFem. Use the, all the software uh, tools that are inside the, inside the graphical user interface. It's what I am going to show you uh, today. Always take into account that the geometry is very uh, related to, to the mesh. Well, both ways. Mesh is very related to, to the geometry. That's why we always um, recommend you not to overcomplicate uh, and to uh, be very too accurate in creating the geometry. Okay? You will see that uh, experience that um, will take you more resources. Of course, more nodes and elements they will take a longer time in computing and the size will be very unmanageable. So big, so big after imagine how to solve many lot cases with combinations and then post processing, it will uh, slow down your computer a lot. We can import everything, a model imported from a CAD. Most of you will know what type of uh, spaceship is this one? Okay, a TIE fighter. And we import it from a CAD as a, I think a step a step file. Okay, which are the files which are available? IGS, DXF, Parasolid files, and step files. Okay. So, we will start with a steel structure model, which was modeled in a CAD software, and we import all the structure in CivilFilm. So, we have to think first, uh, what are the results we want to, to obtain? What type of analysis? Because, as you can see, it was modeled everything using surfaces. Okay, all the shape of the beams, the beam profiles, as you can see, they are all uh, box or eye sections, angular sections, and everything is modeled with very in, in very detail. Even the some uh, of the hooks, okay, and the and and the bottom platform, everything as you can see, two tubular sections. Even with the, the final uh, shape, okay, in, very, in a very accurate uh, way. But uh, we have to think: Do we need uh, all of all of this? Would it be uh, would it be simpler to create just lines, as you can see in the on the, uh, in all the the work uh, work examples? just to create single lines all connected by its uh, endpoints and then define the, the cross sections with beams okay unless you want to create a detailed uh, analysis of some uh, connections or you want to see um, uh, how 
how uh, um, the connection of two beams can be uh, uh, can lose contact or or to define some uh, if you want to define a bolted section then yes you can create a, a kind of sub model but very uh, with a of course with a finer mesh and using nonlinear uh, uh, nonlinearities but for if you want to for for, for instance uh, just perform a code checking or code design or just to to see the the, the global structural stability it's it's enough to use uh, just lines because later the sections can be assigned using the any any of the libraries in this case we are using still still sections but in this case as you can see she has a complete library of, of sections but in this case it's very it's very it's a very good CAD model but in this for our case it's uh, useless okay so we have to start from scratch if it's a very simple model we can we can define it uh, in civil film okay just creating all these beams using lines even we don't need to define all these all these uh, auxiliary uh, elements which are the uh, these uh, hooks okay so as a summary uh, our recommendation is always to try to simplify to try to reduce or remove elements from uh, can delete if i want some entities and just uh, we can do it here in the in the civil preprocessor or we can do it of course in the from the CAD you from the CAD uh, CAD uh, software okay uh, other other thing is to well if we if we can can uh, use symmetry maybe if we have symmetry of in geometry and loadings and our case is uh, just uh, uh, our analysis is just linear we can well have in this case we, had, we don't have symmetry of or in this in this plane but maybe maybe you have it in another in another in another plane we can simplify and create half half of the model if we if we see any any symmetry uh, so we can uh, uh, well avoid uh, avoid uh, creating more elements well in the case of of, of beams we can create uh, all 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 of it we, it won't take uh, much uh, much long but always yes uh, decide if we you are going to perform the analysis using beam elements shell elements or solid elements because uh, you will uh, of course with with knowledge and experience you will uh know that but always uh it's very important to take these uh preliminary decisions before starting uh, a model okay uh well another another way uh, besides uh, using an external software a cd software or creating the geometry in civil film you can always always mix mix them both uh, use both both uh, create a previous uh, you can create uh, for 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 instance points in your uh, external software just points and in civil film just use these points the cl that cloud of points and then in in, in civil film use uh, use those those points for your own geometry and create uh, lines from 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 your points lines surfaces what whatever you you need so we are going to create this simple model we will going to uh, it's just a, a slab column uh, just at the top and depending on on the final mesh we can uh, create a geometry with shared entities so we can have a, a congruent mesh with the all connected or non-connected mesh a similar mesh but using contacts workflow each one will be very different we will start defining two independent uh, geometries 
later uh, contacts but this is just uh, well uh, we'll show you how to define the this geometry we'll start defining uh, my my grid you remember it's here define my grid and i define the size of my grid and the spacing okay and i will create a quadrilateral uh, well I, I can i can define my my slab in many ways i can do it defining just uh, a box have two ways one point and its dimensions and two opposite vertices okay just okay just to set 10 meters 10 meters and one of height and here here it is okay and then if i want to place using the grid or i can do it on the fly but i can do set my center just on the top okay here we have it and anyway, i will create here my cylinder just in the top okay the center will be here and i just set my my radius And do this here it is it's just there are just two volumes and they have just one surface in contact which is the the bottom of the cylinder touching the top of the slab how to perform then uh, the next part if we perform the mesh you can see that the mesh of each one are independent in another chapter we'll see how to perform the mesh but just to show you about some uh, tips of the uh, geometry how do we perform a congruent mesh if you want the two meshes to be connected in this case it's very well we can presume that creating the mesh here is very it's easier because later we can use contact but we if we want to avoid the contacts the definition of contact uh, pairs is very easy but if we don't want to add a, a non-linearity we can perform a congruent mesh to do that start from different geometry so to, we perform the mesh from zero zero and now we will have to create geometry in a different way i'll do it creating here a, quali a quadrilateral or with the shift button i can confirm and now create an axis i will create the same slab but by extrusion in the set direction I will have get my axis and we create an extrusion but I don't want to create an extrusion of this area I want I will create the extrusion of of this quadrilateral with the uh, uh, with the hole of my of my cylinder okay I create a circle The center will be this one. Okay. And radius of two. Here I have my two entities. Okay, this is I will set the quad. Always to set names. Circle. Okay. and now I will create a, a, a subtraction of both from my quad I will take out 
if, if it's difficult to select here, you can do it here. My circle. Put my quad with the hole. If I hide those two, I have it here. Now I can create the, extru the extrusion using the, this axis and as extrusion. Okay, this will be my external slab. And here it is. I can follow with the next uh, geometry. Using this curve again and the circle and then it will be an extrusion. This is my external. Sorry, in okay. To, in order to have, have a connection of nodes, so I need this surface, the bottom of, of the column, to be extruded from this from this uh, circle. To have this, I have to explode it. I just need this surface. The other two can be deleted. This is the bottom. And then I can stroke again. In this case, using partial length of again Q and this here and set. Here it is. to show you my our final volumes are these three ones why do I need this because at the end performing the mess I will have a congruent mess here you have it you can see that the nodes are connected in this way and the difference of the other one is there is no connection between nodes. You can see here. Here we can what we can do is have a connection of a contact. It is very easy. But we will see that in another chapter. Okay? This is the end of the this uh, short class. Uh, always be stay tuned to our virtual classroom and send send us any uh, question you you might have. Thank you.